Hey everyone, it's Honda Nguyen. How's everyone all doing today? All right, guys, so today we are back at K Town Korean Barbecue Sushi and Hot Pot here in the city of Roseville. So, the last time we were here, we tried the option A, uh, where you can choose the following barbecue sushi or hot pot. Today, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try option B, so it includes all three selections. So, it will be five dollars more, okay, if you guys choose this selection the regular price of uh, basically lunch is $23.99 per adult $14.99 kids um, basically Monday through Friday dinner weekend and holiday is $34.99 for adults $17.99 for kids and if you guys want to choose that option B that we're going to do today like mentioned it will be five dollars more Per person okay so if you guys also go to uh during a soft opening they're also giving out sake and soda so i'm not sure if you're watching this video right now I'm not sure if they still have the soft opening or not but uh, that are the pricing okay all right guys so right now i'm gonna go walk around as you guys already been seeing uh the full tour of what they have to offer here at the buffet section Alright guys, so like mentioned, we did came here last time uh, during Valentine's Day and it was uh, the pricing was dinner all day, but we only chose option A at that time where you can choose barbecue sushi or hot pot. We got the hot pot last time. So today guys, we decided to come back because the last uh, time we were here was really good. Uh, great experience and all that stuff. So we want to give them another try this time. But also at the same time, we want to try all three selection. Okay, so barbecue, sushi, or hot pot, and hot pot, I should say. Uh, $5 more per person. So we're going to try it out today, guys. And let's see how it is compared to the last time, just uh, with hot pot only. Uh, like I said, it was a great experience last time. Let's see how the experience this time will be. Alright guys, so if you guys have never been to one of these types of restaurant like a Korean barbecue or hot pot all you can eat, this is how it works here at this restaurant. If you guys order the hot pot, you guys are gonna have to first order your soup base and then later on you're gonna order your meat selection, okay? So at here or here, they allow you up to three items per round, okay? It's unlimited, but they only want you or you can only order 
up to three rounds same with the barbecue as well and the difference between this uh, restaurant and some other uh, Korean barbecue uh, restaurant that I've been to is that this one actually has a buffet section as you guys can see earlier they got other foods for you to eat as well so that is actually a plus okay so that is how it works All right, guys so if you guys have been following my channel or my food videos buffet videos all you can eat videos uh usually i will give you guys my honest review at the end of the video but right now i'm actually going to go ahead and do it right now uh because the video is going to be pretty long so after the the uh the feedback and ratings reviews and all that stuff you guys can uh, continue in watching and you know me eating and us eating or you guys can just shut it off okay all right guys so this time second time around here we came on uh basically dinner again here but this time we opt in to get the option b basically includes barbecue sushi and hot pot uh all you can eat uh five dollars per person extra for each person right and um two hour limit okay so if you guys haven't been to a barbecue or a all you can eat buffet um ever or before or or a long time uh usually now most restaurants allow up to two hours okay i've been to one where it's only one and a half hours which i think is not enough i think t two hours is decent okay uh but uh if you guys have been to a buffet like back in the days maybe like 10 15 years ago there wasn't any time limit but then i guess a lot of people stay too long so they change everything up all right but anyways today guys all you can eat k-town uh in the city of roseville california if you guys don't know where roseville is it is only 20 minutes from sacramento about two and a half hours from san jose and i would say about seven hours or so from the oc area all right so today guys uh we came in here actually not too busy uh the time that we were here actually because we probably came uh right before the uh rush hour for dinner we came like around four o'clock and about an hour later it was super super busy um but um this time guys i'm gonna give you guys my honest ratings review feedback and all that stuff today okay so today guys the last time um i should mention the last time when we were here it was an excellent experience everything was good server were very friendly and all that stuff they clean our plates off pretty quick last time i gave a rating of a 9 out of 10 last time which is a pretty good score but this time guys i'm gonna lower it down by one point okay i'm gonna give it a solid 8 out of 10 why uh because uh first of all when we walked in they gave us a seating on the left side of the restaurant and then later on they made us stand up and go to the right side which is kind of weird you know and then also um basically our table was full of dirty plates this time was a little slower for them to pick it up and also uh, the service wasn't as great as last time because we didn't get to see our server too much because I don't know, maybe he's busy somewhere or not or whatnot. But this time the, the service is a little bit slow. And also one negative thing also is that this time some of the food, uh, some of the seafood, meat and stuff were not too fresh. OK, the last time we were here was super fresh, super delicious. But this time, most of the food or some of the food, I, I should not say most, 
some of the food are not that fresh today all right guys so those are the flaws this time that we've been here uh so i'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of ten which is still a good score we may uh still come back here to eat guys because it is still considered a pretty good restaurant okay even though today i lowered down one point hopefully uh their service gets better their food gets better and uh you know everything else gets better all right but other than that guys it's my own experience during that time that i was there the day that i was there uh but uh for you to you guys to know you guys gotta come here to try it for yourself all right guys so that's it um uh, if you guys like you guys continue watching the video or you guys can just shut it off okay but before that make sure you guys subscribe to my channel it doesn't cost you any money to subscribe but it helps out the channel greatly and i really appreciate you all all right guys take care thanks for watching bye bye